So I call the member for Maitland. Thank you so much, Mr. Temporary Speaker. Lovely to have a, a motion, a, a private member statement after that, which actually recognises women positively in this place. Um, I would like to uh, congratulate the Maitland Local Woman of the Year, Amarelle Dempster, uh, who was at the breakfast this morning for the Women of the Year Awards. And I would also like to pay homage to all of the other winners of those awards, uh, the New South Wales Premier's Award for Women of the Year, Harla Zokat, uh, the Aboriginal Woman of the Year, Julie Shelley, the First State Super Lifetime Achievement Award, Norma Ingram, the Harvey Norman Young Women of the Award, Year Award for Shaza Rifi, uh, the Rex Airlines Regional Woman of the Year, Juliet Duffy, the Community Hero Award, uh, Doc, uh, Dr. Raji and Vikaraja, uh, the Business Woman of the Year Award, Christy Chong. There were so many other finalists that were recognised today. There was Danielle Miller, Natalie Isaacs and Nina Fennell for the Premier's Award, uh, Associate Professor Faye McMillan and Selena Archibald for the Aboriginal Woman of the Year Award, Julianne Mitchell was a finalist in the Lifetime Achievement Award, Jackie uh, Jamovic, uh, Juliet Duffy, Susie Miller were all recognised as finalists in the Businesswoman's Award. Uh, Associate Professor Faye McMillan also got recognised as a finalist in the Regional Women's Award, as did Jan Edwards, Juliet Duffy and Vicky Wilson. And Young Women of the Award, uh, Year finalists included Andrea Karamas, Anna Hush, Dr Cathy Zhao and Josephine de Costa. Community Hero finalists included Christine Mastello, Kay Schubach, very strong campaigner in domestic violence, and the founder of Lou's Place and Michelle Ellery. So there were some really good things going on for women in the International Women's Day today that was recognising achievement. I was also pleased to join the uh, president of New South Wales Local Government Association, Linda Sc uh, Councillor Linda Scott, and CEO Donna Rygate at the inaugural uh, local Government of New South Wales Women's Day lunch and it was lovely to see uh, my friend Anne Summer, Dr Anne Summers AO who's been out here uh, doing some amazing work in this community and uh, I just want to take this opportunity to say how much uh, it is important that we recognise women in our community uh, for the contribution that they make. And one of the things that I'm um, very concerned about, Mr Temporary Speaker, is the behaviour, uh, I'd have to say, of uh, many people in our community, many men in our community who continue to troll on Twitter, who uh, attack women publicly and all these sorts of things. That is a real problem that we need to deal with. And through the Commonwealth Women Parliamentarians uh, Association, um, we have been addressing these kind of issues over the last few years that I've been the chair of the New South Wales branch of CWP. Uh, we have been looking particularly at violence towards uh, female parliamentarians, women parliamentarians, because that is something that has um, been a huge issue. And we all remember um, the tragic death of Joe Cox in the UK. Uh, as, a, as a member of parliament there. But we have seen in this place, um, we've seen assaults of women in this chamber. We've seen uh, some male members coming around to this side of the house in definite breach of the Westminster uh, process uh, when women have been speaking at the dispatch box. So I would actually urge all of our male members of parliament to look at the way they conduct themselves uh, both on social media, in the chamber, uh, and how they address women at different uh, times. Because what they are saying, I think the community is getting sick of, and that is that women don't have a right to be here. I've had men in this place standing over me, shaking their hands at me, and, and you know, you, you, you. And this is, and that's out of this chamber. I've had that happen to me, Mr. Temporary Speaker. So I think that you know, we in this place have a role to think of uh, how we conduct ourselves and to do that with a level of decorum. But things get a bit hit under the collar in question time, but the kind of abuse that has been happening uh, to many women in this place, uh, really personal attacks, has been inappropriate and I think it's an important time to raise that issue. It's very hard for the government to go out. You know, We had the uh, then and now report uh, earlier uh, this week about women's participation, uh, noting that in 1973 we had one woman in uh, this place. We now have 27, not 28 like the Minister for Women said, uh, but we have 27 and those women will not 
uh, be inspiring other women to uh, um, stand for public office if they are constantly subject to attack. Thank you. I'd like to thank the member for Maitland. Just before I call.